Hi there, I'm Don and I'm making my very first YouTube video. You know, I've seen so many videos about Tesla power walls and all their goods and bads and everything else you like you ever want to know about those, but I can't find one video online by a Generac power cell user system owner, which I am. I had it about two installed about two months ago, and I'll be talking about the system, showing you it. Uh, giving you some of the good and bad things that I found about it or things that could be better I'll put it that way and we'll go from there Thanks so much. Hope you enjoy the video They are Sun Power 335 watt uh, about 21% efficiency panels for a total power of about 4.7 kilowatts of peak power. You'll rarely achieve the total rating for any solar array since they rate them by testing them in laboratory setups with perfect generated sunlight from sun lamps. Not what you generally run into in your real situation with clouds and everything else getting in the way. So here are the 14 sun power solar panels and it's in a west-facing roof, so I get best sun after 12 o'clock until about sundown. And there really aren't too many trees around the property, so I don't get much sun blockage. Okay, here are the main components of the Generac power cell system. This is the Generac power cell inverter. It controls the system. It takes the incoming power from the solar array. It converts it to AC as needed and feeds it into the gray boxes on the left of my main breaker panel and what they call the critical loads panel. I'll explain that more later. It also is the battery management system to charge the battery, make sure it doesn't overcharge the battery. Left here, is the Generac power cell battery unit. I have three batteries installed for a total capacity of about 8.85 kilowatts of storage and it can take up to six batteries. One thing I really like about this system is that it is expandable. All I have to do to add additional batteries is buy them, open up that cabinet. It's a rather simple installation process. And it just requires that the battery unit be shut down, open up the cabinet, put the battery in, hook it up with the rest. The cabinet comes pre-wired and then I can turn it back on and the system will automatically recognize the new battery and begin charging it. You want to add just a couple more kilowatts of energy storage, you have to buy a whole other Tesla Powerwall which I believe installed around $7,000 a piece. I can buy a battery, additional battery, for the power cell battery unit for under $2,000, and it's a fairly simple installation process. And again, I can go from the three I have up to six and double the capacity that I have in here now. Those features are really important for me and if you want an expandable system from the amount of solar power coming in to how much battery storage you have without well, having to buy an additional very large storage capacity battery, this is the way to go. Okay, now it's time to get to the last few things and wrap this video up. You probably listened to me babble on long enough as it is. So the first thing I'd like to mention about the system is that it has a higher efficiency than the Tesla Powerwall too. What do I mean by efficiency? When the solar power comes in from the array to the inverter and it, and it can stores it into the battery, that is about a close to 100% efficiency because the solar array makes DC power and the battery stores DC power. It can connect directly through the inverter and be charged. If you'd like to know why that, why the system is more efficient, please let me know in the comments below and I'll 
cover that in another video. As a matter of fact, anything that you want to know more about the system, I would be happy to research and tell you in future videos. The second thing I like about the system that I haven't already talked about is the PowerView app. I'm going to cover that in more detail in a video in the future as well. But let's just say that it runs on any smartphone. It's very easy to use. It did take me a while to get used to all the little nuances about how it works, but it's a very well designed app. You can also log into PowerView from the web onto your owner's account where you can see more detailed information about the performance of your system. For example, it'll tell you how much solar power it captured over an entire month. Now everybody wants to know about the cost of the system. Of course, that's going to vary a lot depending on how many power cell batteries that you get in each power cell unit, how many solar panels you get, what efficiency, what brand, all that makes the cost of the system go all over the place depending on exactly what you select. But in comparison to a Powerwall 2 system cost, which I got a bid for for my solar installer as well, I can tell you that they were roughly equivalent. I feel for what I paid for that I got my money's worth. This system has performed very well and does everything that I expected it to do for the most part. I'm sure that some of you are going to be asking, well, what did he actually pay for his system? Everything said and done, all in, I paid around $30,000 for the system. That's before the 26% federal tax credit that you can get in 2020 on your federal taxes in the United States. That goes down to 22% next year, by the way, then it goes away forever. Another Congress might extend it, but nobody knows for sure. I think it's also important to understand that investing in solar is not just done for return on investment, lowering your power bill, feeling more that you have more control over your life because you control your own power to a much larger extent than you did without it. It's also about the idea of being green, making you feel good, and other intangible things that you really can't put a price tag on. So going solar eventually was an easy decision for me because I had decided that all those things were of value to me and it was a place that I wanted to put my money. Well, that's it. I hope you liked the video. Again, it's my first one, so I know it's not perfect. I will be trying to improve them in the future. But if you do like this and want to hear more from me about the Generac Power Cell system, please tell me in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you want because I am going to try to do more videos in the future on this. And hope you enjoy the video and have a great day.